Good one to get us all pumping. Jeff Ayler, we're inside 10 minutes to the start of the APBA Gold Cup, the 112th running. I just walked by my wife down there and she says, you okay? I said, no. I said, I'm nervous as heck. I got hair standing up on the back of my neck. And we're I think when I won the Gold Cup, <laughs> that was the crowning achievement of my whole life. The unlimited hydroplanes, the powerhouses of boat racing, run for the Gold Cup. This is the one every man in boat racing strives to win. Because this is the top prize. Mudley came out of nowhere to take the lead. Almost completely off the water. The object? A small Tiffany Gold Cup that represents the pinnacle of achievement for the hydroplane racer. or whatever the scale might be, the biggest number. That's what they're going to get from me. I want to come down here and do this again. And Jeff Ayler, I want you to come down and do it again with me because quite candidly, with all the racing that we had, there was no way I could have done this by myself. Well, thank you, Brad. I've already put my request in, so hopefully the board of directors of the Hydro Fest will have both of us back next year for 2023 for the Southern Cup here at Lake Gunnersville. Brad, an interesting lineup on the front row. Two entries from Miss Madison Racing. Jimmy Shane, perfect on the weekend, and Miss Homestreet, but you can't count out the second entry driven by Jeff Bernard in the Goodman Real Estate. Reason being, that hull is your defending APBA Gold Cup champion. It's the third winningest hull in the history of the sport. Six minutes, Mark. Six minutes until the start. We can start putting boats on the water. This is it. We played the song. We've crowned the other two champions. They're hugging and kissing people over here, getting ready for an awards ceremony. I've been watching them over there. We only got one thing left to do. This is it. Let's run down our lineup for the APBA Gold Cup finale. It's presented by Marshall County Tourism and Sports. Jeff, you and I haven't done it this long. They've been running this little thing for 112 years. Let's get it going. Let's get it on. You won Miss Home Street, Jimmy Shane, Powder Blue. He comes in with 600 points. He's perfect on the weekend. And this is going to feature something that the fans have not seen all weekend. Dave Vilwalk and Jimmy Shane. Dave Vilwalk driving the U40, the Beacon Plumbing. It is bright orange. It is trimmed in black. The U8, the silver, Miss Tri-Cities with the bright orange trim on the fairings. It is driven by J. Michael Kelly. The other silver boat, it is predominantly silver. It is sponsored by Lynx Healthcare, the brand new sponsor of Corey Peabody and Strong Racing. Rounding out our front row is the 91 that you were talking about, the Goodman Real Estate. It is black and gold. Jeff Bernard out of Kent, Washington. We've got boats coming down the front straight away. Fans, give it up for your favorite. There is Jimmy Shane. Right behind him is the other Madison boat, the Goodman Real Estate. There goes Dave Vilwalk in the predominantly orange boat. Here comes J. Michael Kelly. He will come by in the U8, the Miss Tri-Cities. Got a couple of boats at the top end of the race course. 
coming down first is going to be Jamie Nielsen and the Miss Colleen. He is the trailer boat in the heat. He has to start five minutes or five seconds behind the clock. So he'll be trailing the field when they come across the start finish line. Jeff, we've talked about putting five boats on the front row at this course. We were supposed to do it last year, but it didn't happen. We had a penalty one of our boats was sent back to the pit area. I think we're gonna make it this time. Right now it's guaranteed. Five on the front row, a trailer, the Miss Colleen. Brad right now in the start sequence. Jimmy Shane has not been this aggressive so far this weekend in the milling period. He cuts through turn number one of the short course. And now Bill Walk takes a turn left, just past that orange buoy. as J. Michael Kelly just cut through the infield in the Tri-Cities. We've talked about the milling period and how the boats have been cutting across the course here and there and everywhere. I think you're going to see a lot more of it in this particular heat. Boats are keying off other boats. This is the trophy. All powerboat racers want to win. Five laps on Lake Guntersville are going to determine our champion. Go, Jeff. Two minutes and 55 seconds until the start. Let's watch Shane again. Yes, Shane is using Vilwak tactics in the milling period, circling the short course. Dave will cut in behind him. In front of Shane is Corey Peabody and Lynx Healthcare. Your lane is not assigned to you. That's what is being decided right now, the race before the race, Brad, to position your boat. Lane, you establish your lane prior to the start at the entrance pit of turn number two right now. We are 225 away, still lots to decide. Yeah, watch if nobody cuts the race course and nobody is Dave gonna come, he is. He is gonna cut the race course because J. Michael Kelly was gonna come off the top of the race course and if nobody cut, he was gonna put himself in lane one, but Dave just came across and now he's coming down the front straight away. What's the time, Jeff? We are coming up on the two minute mark. Two minutes and Shane is down on power. Up in turn number two. Brad, could that be a penalty? He is completely down on power. You can see the boat. It is nestled dead in the water just outside the exit pin of turn two. The referees are gonna have to take a look at that because and now he's firing it up again. But oh, there are some rules about that one in the rule book. But there we'll go ahead some... and call it physically. We are now 125 until the start, 125 away. Here's Shane. We saw that boat dead in the water just outside the exit pin of turn number two. 115 away, 115. Peabody in turn one. Brad, there is Vilwalk, and right now he is trying to position his boat in lane number one. We are exactly. He, he's going to come. One Watch, minute from what, the 112th APBA Gold Cup. He's weaving back yeah, and forth. Yeah, he's weaving to back. Kill and, time. That's why you're seeing that wall of water come up. He's trying to kill time. Dave is way early up toward the top end of the race course. Then it's Corey Peabody coming up. Corey Peabody is behind him. Then here comes Shane. Here comes Bernard. And that's J. Michael Kelly with a pretty hot head of steam coming up there behind everybody. And then our trailer boat is Jamie Nielsen and the Miss Colleen. The 112th running of the APBA Gold Cup. Here we go. Looking at the clock. We're inside 26 seconds. Oh, my goodness. Dave is so early. Look how wide he's going up there to kill time. That's another question. Coming off the top end of the race course, this one looks like it's ragged. There's your five boats on the front row. Jeff Ayler, start our Gold Cup. Ten seconds away, the Gold Cup sponsor, Marshall County Tourism and Sports. We're five, four, three, two, one. Mark, we're racing in the final heat of the APBA Gold Cup here at Lake Gunnersville. Three of them across the line, Shane, Kelly, and Bernard. We look up above, Jimmy Shane, your leader in Miss Home Street, J. Michael Kelly in second, but Brad Corey Peabody tightening things up in lane one, Shane in front. Yeah, a whole lot of boats coming off the corner. Good start. Everything is legal. Kelly going dead in the water, turn one. 
Kelly is down. Now up the back straight. It is Jimmy Shade. And he's opening up water on Corey Peabody. He's opening up a lot of water on Corey Peabody. Boy, this is going to be a case of somebody trying to overpay for the inside lane. Bill Walk got up there too late. Had to move it all the way to the outside. But the boat that came from lane two, Jimmy Shane driving to home. Oh, and Corey Peabody had to go through the rooster tail of Jimmy Shane. We will come down to complete lap number one, Marshall County Tourism and Sports, APBA Gold Cup, your leader, comfortably out in front right now, Jimmy Shane and Miss Home Street. Second place to Corey Peabody and Lynx Healthcare. Jeff Bernard in the third spot in Goodman Real Estate and Bill Walk is still trying hard, flying in fourth in Beacon Plumbing. We go back into turn number one. Shane remains in front and Brad with Kelly dead in the water, that could cause a problem. Keep an eye on Dave Vilwalk. He drove to the inside of Bernard down there. Vilwalk is trying to sneak up on Jeff Bernard. He's on the inside in fourth place. Now halfway up the backstretch, it is all Jimmy Shane. I'll tell you what, it's a rough boat ride for Corey Peabody. And here comes Dave. He's coming on the inside of Bernard. He's trying to run him down. He moved over. After he crossed start finish line, he made a move to the inside. And Dave is not running. Hey, I thought maybe he was dropping down a little bit. But our leader is at the top end of the race course. It is all powder blue and white. It is Jimmy Shane. We will come down to complete lap number two. Once again, this is a five-lap final. Jimmy Shane, two complete, three to go in the 112th APBA Gold Cup. Corey Peabody still charging hard in second position in U9 Lynx Healthcare. Jeff Bernard, oh, and Phil Walk just about dumped it right here in front of us in fourth. He's flying high. Brad Shane still your leader, but Peabody is not giving up in second. No, keep Peabody's running very hard. Dave is really loose. The last time down the front straightaway, he went to the inside. It didn't work. He's now on the outside of Bernard, but our race is up front at the lower end of the race course. Peabody closed up on Shane, but now Jimmy has opened it back up. Shane on lap number three, up toward the top end of the race course. He's still leaving room in there for Corey Peabody, so see if Corey can make up some time at the top end. Shane is past the apex. He is to the entrance pin now. Peabody's moving to the outside. That's going to make it extremely difficult. And there we go. That is that is Dave Vilwalk has now moved into third at the entrance pin to the upper corner, Jeff. Lap number three complete. Jimmy Shane make it two. Rooster tail advantage over Corey Peabody and Lynx Healthcare in second. Dave Vilwalk has moved into the third position in Beacon Plumbing. Jeff Bernard in fourth. Goodman Real Estate. Jamie Nielsen fifth and Miss Colleen. J. Michael Kelly dead in the water in turn number one. Brad off the turn. Now Shane's lead getting a little bit more comfortable, but still work to do. Yeah, it's, he's got almost two rooster tails here up the back stretch, but this is the gold cup. You're not gonna just give it in and let it go. So Corey's gonna try and stay in that rear view mirror. We'll keep an eye on him. Our third place boat is off the lower end of the race course. That is Dave Vilwalk in the Beacon Plumbing. Right now, Jimmy Shane has just gotta keep the fire lit, keep his boat clean. Watch him at the top end of the race course, Jeff. He's not gonna try and tighten it up too much. He'll swing out, bring him down to get the white flag. Shane exits the corner. We do see the white flag in hand. Jimmy Shane, Marshall County Tourism and Sports, APBA Gold Cup Championship. Four complete and one more mile to victory to break the tie between him and the legendary Guy Wood with five Gold Cup victories, fourth on the all-time list. Corey Peabody not giving up in second. Bill Walk remains in third. Brad off the turn, Shane in front. Time is running out for Corey Peabody. It is time to pick our leader off the lower corner and bring him around to an apparent victory in the 2022 APBA Gold Cup on Lake Guntersville. He's halfway up the backstretch. Corey Peabody still stays about a rooster tail, rooster tail and a half behind him. There is nobody except Jamie Nielsen in front of Dave Vill or excuse me, of Jimmy Shane. He is at the top end of the race course, and Jeff Ayler, have you have done so many times, bring our winner to the Gold Cup line. Final turn, final lap. Marshall County Tourism and Sports, APBA Gold Cup. Shane sees the checkered flag. Jimmy Shane wins his sixth APBA Gold Cup at the Lake Guntersville Hydro Fest 2022 edition here in Guntersville, Alabama. Corey Peabody will get second in the Lynx Healthcare. Third position will go to Dave Vilwalk in Miss Beacon Plumbing. Up in turn number two, Jeff Bernard 
in the second Miss Madison entry, running in fourth in Goodman Real Estate. And Brad, that is the third consecutive Gold Cup win for Miss Madison Racing, all driven by Jimmy Shane. Fourth he joins, place. He joins an elite group as fourth place. Sorry to step on you there, Jeff. You're talking about three in a row for the Shane. He joins an elite group of drivers to do that as Jeff Bernard comes across in fourth place. The Miss Colleen, the U11, will come down in fifth. Remember, all of our results are unofficial. The boats have to go through tech inspection. Jeff, what do you got? Well, that's what we just got, and I knew we would get that. It's very unofficial. Brad, you and I have followed this sport for decades. I saw a couple instances in that warm-up period that could be a little suspect, but we'll just wait for official word. But your unofficial winner of the 112th APBA Gold Cup presented by Marshall County Tourism and Sports is Jimmy Shane in Miss Home Street. Tough, tough weekend for the defending Lake Guntersville champion, J. Michael Kelly. They just never seem to be able to get the boat ride to work with the power and Mike drove it valiantly into the first turn, but unfortunately, that's about where his weekend came to an end. Tough one on him. Remember, everything is unofficial. I want to make one other comment about that final heat. Final heat, nobody, nobody drove harder than Dave Vilwak. He had that boat up in the air time and time again. He wanted to get Jeff. He was going to try and get him on the inside. That didn't work. He went back outside and finally ran him down. That was some good driving. He never gives up, and he scared me. You heard me say I thought he was going to dump it right here in front of us, and he had the front end of that boat way up in the air. Fans in Guntersville, how do you like APBA Gold Cup hydroplane racing? Fans in Guntersville, collect your stuff. Start making your way up here. It's going to be a little bit. we got to get the drivers over from the other side. And we've got to make sure everything is fair and equitable and everything is legal. And that will be the discussion that they will have. But for right now, your winner on the water, Jimmy Shane, the U1, the Miss Home Street.
Tourism and sports, we're five, four, three, two. So we said it might take us a little while to get our award ceremony started, but we're going to get things going very quickly here, like in right now. So if you're within an earshot of the start-finish line and the main stage, Stand by, we're gonna start in a moment.